Hey everyone, Captain Paul here and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to create an interior page of a colouring book like this using free online software. Now my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you like videos like that then make sure you hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications when I produce videos like this. And if you do like it, Give it a thumbs up, it's very much appreciated. So today we're going to be looking at how to create an interior page of a colouring book. Now colouring books are very popular on Amazon, they sell extremely well, which is demonstrated by the low bestsellers ranks, and therefore have the potential to make a lot of money. Now I'm going to show you how to do this with free software, and the same principles will apply if you're using things like Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to show you how to do the background of the page and then we're going to overlay a vector image on that to create our colouring book page. The software I'm going to be using today is called Gravit Designer. This is online software and it's free to use. When you do sign up you get 15 days of the pro version which then turns into the free version. Now, if you want to continue with the pro version, it costs £49. That'll be the equivalent. I don't know what the equivalent of that is in dollars at the moment. And that is for a year. So that's unlimited use for a year. Now, the main differences between the free and the pro version are you get unlimited storage. You're able to download images uh, at 300 dots per inch. And you're able also to download the software uh, to use offline but certainly the free version will be good enough to do most projects if you are going to be creating covers in these I would suggest you do get the pro version because you'll need to download the cover as a 300 dot per inch image so when we go to Gravit Designer you're presented with a page like this and we need to create our page so we need to uh, enter the width and height now this is very important because if we look at the page we're going to create here, we'll notice that the image goes from one edge of the page to the other. So we need to add on something called bleed. Now we're going to be creating an 8.5 times 11 inch book. Now we need to add on bleed because this image will be trimmed by Amazon when the book is printed. So we need to add 0.125 inches to the top border, 0.125 inches to the lower border and 0.125 inches to the one of the vertical edges. So this means our book will be, or our page will be 8.625 inches by 11.25 inches. So we'll go and add that in to Gravit Designer. So we've got our page. The first thing we need to do is to create the background for the page. So we're going to go and find an image. Now I use Vecteasy. If you do go to Google and put in free vector images, you'll find that there are many sites. I like Vecteasy, they do have a great range. I do pay for the pro version, which I think is currently around about $108 for the year. And that allows you to use them in commercial projects and there's no limit to the number of sales of those projects you can make. If you do have the free version, there are many images that you can download. There is a limit to how many of these you can sell as a commercial um, project, and you do have to put in attribution to Vecteasy in your book. What I would suggest doing is going to the bottom of the page and reading on the license agreement to make sure you're keeping within the license agreements. And that goes for any images you use from any online site. Always double check the licensing agreement. You don't want to fall foul of that because it could affect your KDP account and they all could also come after you for money. So if you go to Vecteasy, if you want a, a pattern background, just search for pattern background. There's many here that would be appropriate to be used in colouring books. They can all be converted into black and white images in your vector software. But I'm going to create a cat 
on a flowery background. So I'm going to put in garden background. And then look through these images. And this was the one I liked. So I'll click on download. Then we'll go back to Gravit Designer and I'm just going to drag the dot SVG, which is the vector, over onto our page. And so I'm just going to position this top corner, press shift and just drag that down to fill the page. And there we have our background. Now I'm going to want to make this invisible for the moment. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to need our image of the cat. So I'm going to go back to Vecteasy and put in cat. Scroll down and find our image of the cat, which is this one. And or again, click on download. Now, when we download this, you'll see here that it downloads as a .eps and a .jpg file. Now, some of them files will be vector files, so they'll either be a .ai file or a .jpg svg file but we don't have one of those in this case so we need to convert the eps file into a vector now this is very easily done so go to this site called convertio and that's at convertio.co i'll put the link in the description and we've chosen to convert an eps file eps file into an svg file you can convert this into a different vector form if you want but we're going to convert this to svg VG. So we'll click on here to locate our file. Double click on our animal, our cat picture, and just click on convert, which will take a couple of seconds, pretty quick, and then we download that. So we go back to Gravit Designer, and then we're going to need to drag this across to our page, like so. So we've got all our cats on here, so we want to get rid of all of these. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this. Now, all these images are grouped together, so we can just press Shift, Command, G to ungroup them. And then we'll find, if we then highlight our cat, it'll just be the cat that's highlighted. We need to copy that. Then we need to get rid of all of these by just highlighting, clicking on delete, and then we paste. And we have our cat. And so we're going to position this on the page, click on the corner, so hold down the left mouse button, press shift, and just expand. And then we're going to position this on our page like so. Now we have our cat here, which is a color image, and we don't want that. So we put a bounding box around our cat, and first of all, we're going to change the borders to a thick black line. So, so over on the right hand side, click on color fill and choose black. And then where it says point, 0.1 point, we're going to change that to four. So that our image now has thick black lines around all the components. So now we need to get rid of the colors so we go over to fill, click on that, and just click on the white swatch. I'm going to enlarge this slightly, and I'll show you a couple of the problems here with the image. One is around the eyes, it all looks a bit dark and there's still a little bit of color left there. And also at these points here, it doesn't look very neat. So we need to tidy this up. So first of all, we're going to tidy up these, th these edges. So again, it's going to highlight the, the whole image. Where it says borders, we're going to click on advanced stroke settings. Where it says ends, we're going to click on round. Where it says joins, we're going to click on the round again. And you can see it tidies up all these edges. They're nice. Um, smooth round um, ends. Now where the eyes are it's a little bit messy so we're going to delete some of these components so I'm just going to click on them, click on delete and it just makes the image a bit cleaner, a bit easier for people to colour in. Now 
do the same on this eye. Depending on the image, you probably won't need to, to do this, but I just wanted to make it look a bit nicer. Okay, so we'll reduce the size so we can see the overall image. I think that looks pretty good. And then all we need to do is go down to the Layers panel on the left-hand side, click on the eye icon to make our background visible again. And there we have our cat on the background. Now you notice down here we've got written Designed by Vecteasy, so just click on that. So just click on that, sorry, and delete. Okay, so that's our page. Now we need to go and put this into Keynote, or if you've not got Keynote, you can put it into PowerPoint to create our book. So what we need to do is save this as a PNG file. So click on File, click on Export, click on PNG Image. And that will have downloaded it to your computer. So now we need to go to Keynote. Click on New. Delete all that. Now we need to change the size of this to our page. So we click on Document, Slide Size, Custom Slide Size. Now this is in points. So we need to go and convert our dimensions of 8.625 inches by 11.25 inches to points. So you can go to Google, just put in inches to points and you'll have get this free calculator. So I'll put in 8.625. That gives us a measurement of 621 points. So I'll make a note of that. And then we'll put in 11.25, which gives us 810 points. So we'll go back to Keynote, put in the width of 621 and height there. Now we're going to create more than one page, so all we need to do is highlight the page, click copy and paste. Okay, so now all we need to do is drag our image onto our keynote page and you'll see here we've got our first page of the coloring book, which I think you'll agree looks pretty good. So you can do the same now and you can build up all these pages up to how many pages you want and you'll then save or export to PDF and you'll save that and create your book. So when it comes to uploading the interior to KDP, because there's bleed, you'll need to click on this option in the bleed settings. So now you're gonna to wanna to create numerous pages and a little trick you might want to, to consider doing is when you go to Vecteasy, if you go over to the right-hand side and click on Info, you'll see other artwork and click on the, the artist and you'll see other artwork that this artist has produced. And you can go and click and, or get the images for files that are very similar in style to the ones you already created for your coloring book page. So that then you can create this whole coloring book that has a similar style, a similar feel, um, and therefore you're producing something a bit more cohesive. So that's it for now. That's a relatively simple way of creating a coloring book interior page. If you have any questions, let me know in the, the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, smash that notification bell, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.